Hey guys, welcome back. So today we are going to be doing something that is long overdue. And that's the closet declutter. <laughs> Earlier this week, you would have seen that I posted an ode to the stupid I bought. Well, now it's time to go through all of that stupid and see what I want to keep and what I want to get rid of. Lately, I've really been very intrigued and very inspired by the concept of minimalism. And I think that ties really well into low buy, what brings you happiness and amplifies your happiness, as opposed to focusing on inquiring things that you think will make you happy. Okay, couple of rules. So you guys have all seen declutters before. You know that I'm gonna take everything out of my closet and I'm going to put it all into three piles, keep, donate, or sell. And I will be selling a lot of this stuff that I do decide to sell that's good enough quality to sell on my Depop, so I'll leave that information down below for you guys. But there's a couple of things that I'm also going to be incorporating into this declutter, like hangers. Someone mentioned in the comments in my last declutter to throw out these hangers because inevitably they would just end up getting filled back up again. I really want to sort of overhaul my entire apartment and what better place to do that than starting with my clothes. So let's do it. This is such a mess. <laughs> If you guys have been following my channel before, this is typically what my closet looks like. I feel like it doesn't really change that much. It's really time to just get rid of these and pass them on to someone who will get use out of them and give the use to them that they were intended to give in the first place. Things like dresses, trousers back here, some sweaters. Up here are all my shoes and boots. And then in here, we've got the tickle trunk, if you know of Mr. Dress Up. It's gotten really full of denim that I bought myself, some of it was gifted. I think I wanna actually get rid of this trunk altogether because it just allows more things to get filled up into it. This is all my athletic gear that has already been decluttered, some bralettes, some um, sports bras, stuff like that. So if I can get my closet to look like this drawer, I'll fuzz this out, then I'll be really happy. This drawer here are my work trousers. So you can see I have a lot of black, so I could probably go through this again and then and here are my sweaters. I might save this for a fall declutter. This, I think I'm just gonna leave for a bit. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do is just throw everything on the bed. This is gonna go pretty much the same way as any of my closet declutters have in the past. And I'm just gonna go through each piece and see what I'm gonna keep and see what I'm gonna get rid of. And here we go. Okay, so this is what we've got going in terms of the mayhem. It does not look as overwhelming as it has in the past. I have things like t-shirt dresses, blouses, jumpsuits are all here. We've got some tank tops. Probably the biggest pile here is my graphic tees. So let's go. Hair is going back because now we mean business. This is the Wilfred Brax jumpsuit. I love this jumpsuit, but guess what? I don't wear it, hang on and this has been in my closet for over a year. I have worn it once because it's cropped. I can't really wear it to work because it does show your midriff like a little bit. I just don't really see any future opportunities in wearing it, but I really love it. It's linen, it has pockets. It's got a really nice sort of wide leg, but it's a beautiful piece. So this is definitely going in the cell pile. And we have a hanger down guys. And you guys all mentioned that Aritzia is my kryptonite. I have a lot of kryptonite. So this is another beautiful jumpsuit that I wore once. It's a little too dressed up to wear on an everyday basis. This has literally been sitting in my closet since then and that was two summers ago maybe? So, sell. So. This is basically that same jumpsuit that I had in white but in black and the neck is a little bit more boxy. I really love this jumpsuit, but I know of myself now that if I were to go to a wedding, I probably wouldn't even reach for this anyway. I tend to like things like suit sets and menswear, so that's probably what I would choose to wear to go to a wedding or to a fancy event over this nowadays. So that's why I'm gonna sell it. This is the Tradlands Finn jumpsuit. This one is different from this one, just in the sense of how the material is made, this one is much more thick and durable, whereas this one is really light and breezy. 
and I don't have anything in this color. This is literally the only blue I have in my wardrobe that's not denim. So this is actually in my mini capsule wardrobe that I'm challenging myself to wearing over the next couple of weeks. But this is also where we get into the territory of same but different. This is the exact same jumpsuit. It's just a little bit different material and a little bit of a different feel. But I do need to be careful with that. When I start to gravitate towards too many duplicates, that's when it gets a little sketchy. These are the Babaton Siddiqui pants. They're a high-waisted pleated pant. These are beautiful for the summer, actually. Actually, they really do feel like you're naked. I think they're like 100% polyester, which is kind of lame. I really like these. I just haven't reached for them in a really long time. They are a perfect summer pant. They're very breathable and breezy, and I think these look really cool dressed up and dressed down. I haven't really gone for the potential of them, so it's actually gonna be a maybe for me. This is my one and only skirt. I do not wear skirts. This skirt has really survived a bunch of declutters. Like the only time I've really worn this is been in a styling video. I just don't wear skirts in my day to day. I just don't, so. Oh, and here's another thing that I'm doing. I'm like hanging multiple tops on one hanger to save space. And it's just like, it means you have too many things. If you're doing all these like hacks to save space, just get rid of the stuff. So here are two tank tops that I think are classic and beautiful and this one's inside out. Honestly, I think like a silky tank top is really a staple in just like a basic wardrobe, but um, it's just, Something that I don't tend towards. Like if I wanna look a little fancy, usually for me, I like do that with a shoe. I don't like how I feel in either of these. I have five black Anina Bing graphic tees. I think I'm gonna narrow it down to two of them because actually just going through these immediately, there's only two that I really like to wear. And if I were to recommend a t-shirt, it would be this one. It's really nice, it's thin, it's vintage feeling. Definitely always go true to size, but it still has that sort of oversized fit that isn't swallowing you whole, but fits in a really nice effortless way. And this print, I think it looks really nice under blazers, under jackets, under trench coats. And this was my very first Anina Bing purchase. So this one to me is special, whereas the other ones I know was just out of, a lot of it was really just out of impulse. I liked the way it looked that day and felt like I needed it when I already had it in my closet to begin with. And that when I do choose my Anine shirts, it's usually this one that I go for anyway. So I'm gonna keep this one. These two are awesome. They have a different fit to them compared to this one. I would say this one is a little bit more slim, but still oversized. Whereas these ones are a little more boxy, more oversized, and the material feels a little thicker and heavier. And the, the sleeve of the t-shirt is a little more dropped and oversized. I love these t-shirts. There's nothing wrong with them. I just don't reach for them. So I'm gonna sell these. Oh no, this one has a stain on it. <gasps> Crap. I just hope I can get it out. I think it's coffee. Okay, well, I was able to whittle down my white t-shirt collection, including this one, to five. So I'm keeping this muscle tee from 1920 New York, a Nina Bing distress tee. And then my favorite tee of all time right now is this Mercury tee from Little High, Little Low. It's like a really cool, like vintage-y kind of material. Rebecca really nails it when it comes to the fit. I'm getting better at decluttering my white tees. I'm getting rid of two here from Everlane. One is covered in makeup. I just don't wear red. Well, if you've seen some of my old closet declutters, you'll know I had a big problem with white t-shirts and white button-ups. If you want a really nice structured but relaxed button up, the Reno blouse from the group by Babaton, this one's probably my favorite overall. Whereas the Stradlands one is a little bit more structured and it's almost a little, it feels like a little starchy and very menswear style. So a very, like a very different vibe compared to this one from Aritzia. I think you can really achieve two different looks just from these two different vibes, which is why I wanna keep them. Okay, we're getting into dresses. This one, I bought it, never ever wore it. It reminds me of Claire Underwood. I would love this with a leather jacket. I'm just not gonna wear it and I know it. This Wilfred dress has survived many declutters and through those many declutters, I have never worn it. It's this beautiful hunter green color. I really like it because it's like oversized and boxy. I know myself by now, I'm not gonna wear it. I just know it. I have three slip dresses. This one is in my 
capsule wardrobe. It's really nice, just like taupey, champagne-y kind of color. And I also have this exact dress in navy blue, which I almost even prefer. And I have this one in black, which I bought from Aritzia a couple of summers ago. I always felt like because I was missing a black slip dress that my wardrobe wasn't complete, but I had one and I literally never wore it. I shot it on an Instagram photo once. Even if you think that something is missing from your wardrobe, really think about it and really think about how it ties into your personal style and if you'll actually wear it. And like I was lusting over a silky either slip skirt that was black or a slip dress and I finally got it and it's been sitting in my closet for like two years. Okay, I'm um, getting into sweaters. I think this one's gonna be a little tough. I don't think there's gonna be much that I'm gonna declutter with this. They're all basically a little high, a little low. I think I, at this point, I honestly do have too many, but I think I'll save a declutter for the fall for these. It's not quite the right season for it, so they'll go in for now. Okay, just checking in. I am feeling good about this. I I think I've spent a lot of time like talking about the pieces, which I think slowed me down a little bit, but I'll show you the maybe pile, which is right here. So I'm gonna go through this later, maybe try some things on and see what I do end up keeping or not. Now we're gonna move on to probably the most difficult thing of the whole declutter and that's my jeans. So um, denim, I just like have a thing for, like I always want to try it out, always thinking that it'll be the latest and greatest. I really have a hard time taking my own advice when it comes to revisiting what I already have before I get intrigued by the new and shiny things. So a lot of this I know for a fact I do not wear, I do not reach for it, I just don't. I never thought that I would do this, but I'm going to be doing it. I'm gonna declutter my Levi wedgie straight jeans and that is, not because I don't like them, but it's literally because I don't wear them. These were probably the first jeans I ever discovered that work for me. They're a really nice straight leg jean, especially if you're getting into the world of straight leg jeans for the first time. But I haven't worn these in literally over a year, mostly because I discovered the Everlane jeans. Those jeans I do end up choosing to wear way more than these, so I'm gonna sell them. These are feeling really starchy and weird because they are fresh out of the wash. These are the 90s cheeky ankle straight jeans from Everlane. I wear these a lot and I interchange between these and this super straight jeans from Everlane. They sort of hug your bum and lift it. Really flattering um, and so far really high quality. These ones are gonna be a maybe for me. I bought these secondhand off of Depop. They're a little bit too big for me though, but I think I'm gonna put them in the maybe pile. These are my most favorite jeans, I think of all time right now. These are the Everlane super straight jeans. The cheeky ankle straight, I think has a rise of about 10.5 and these have an 11 inch rise. It just makes the things look a little bit longer and leaner compared to the 90s cheeky. These are probably my favorite jeans ever. I think they're really flattering and look really nice. These are my mom's vintage Levi 531s. They make the butt look a mile high and I love them. I decided to go through my jacket pile, but I'm just getting rid of this suit set from Aritzia. It's really cool, really stripey. I was like super into stripes for a while. I really don't wear this. And I'm actually, I feel really sad about this, but I'm gonna part with it. It's this really awesome leather fringe vintage jacket that I thrifted. It sits in my closet and I just admire it and I don't really ever wear it. I think I wore it maybe once. It's something that I like, always dreamed of wearing. I love fringe. I think it's so cool. I always think about wearing it, but I never really do. So I think I'm just gonna part ways with it. I think I'm done. Okay, so this is all the stuff that I have decided to declutter. I went through the maybe pile and just decided to get rid of some things. I've got some blazers and jackets, some denim here. And then this is the final product. So I think it looks a lot better. Like there's a lot of, you know, not a lot, but there's space 
between my hangers here. I think eventually I wanna get all my sweaters in my drawer and I think it'll just even open up a little bit more breathing space. T-shirts I am proud of because this is my graphic tees and my plain white tees here. And this is what we've got going on in the tickle trunk, it looks a lot cleaner. All of this are, if you can see that, are my sweatpants. And this is the hanger situation. So I'm gonna get rid of all these. Not bad. So that's it for today's video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I do actually feel quite a bit lighter. I think it's a positive step forward and just getting rid of the excess and really whittling down what it is that I know I like to wear. And I think I'm gonna do a more systematic way of keeping track of that, whether it be like a spreadsheet or using an app or just just some sort of tracking system because I think I need the data to see what it is I'm actually wearing and how often as opposed to just what I'm assuming I'm wearing a lot. A lot of this will be showing up on my Depop so if you wanna follow me on Instagram, I'm at Style Apotheca and that's where all the most updated information on that will be and I'll leave my Depop link down below. Don't forget to hit subscribe if you like this video and you wanna see more like this and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Now I gotta clean all this up.